Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. Where is Star Citizen Alpha 3.17 First Wave PTU? Well, we're going to be talking about that, but also looking at what's happening this week in Star Citizen. Cloud Imperium wanted to have Star Citizen Alpha 3.17 First Wave out last weekend, but that does not seem to have materialized in reality. That has been due to some major blockers which are uh, being ironed out at the moment before they can go into wider testing. Cloud Imperium have said, the Evocati group have been hammering away on Alpha 3.17 builds all last week, and we're aiming to open up the PTU to Wave 1 testers this week now. From what I hear, Cloud Imperium will probably have that done on Thursday or Friday. Cloud Imperium continued, keep an eye on Spectrum for any announcements as we continue to get closer to Alpha 3.17's release. As always, we don't know for sure if it's going to be out that those dates. That's just a, a guess, a guesstimation, and um, hopefully will be accurate this time. Uh, I'm also revising my 3.17 live estimate uh, to being mid-April, as we're still very much in those PT phases for the patch, and uh, we don't know how long testing is going to be at first wave and then open PTU. Cloud and Pyram have also given us some more info about what happened over the last few days and what's happening this week in the appropriately named This Week in Star Citizen post. Uh, in case you missed it, last week we released the first patch watch for Alpha 3.17. This gets into the nitty gritty of some of the smaller changes coming in this update, such as desync improvements, balance updates for hunger and thirst, medical improvements, and FPS weapon rebalance, and more. I have a couple of videos going over all those changes that you should check out. Uh, additionally, um, we had Todd Pappy on Star Citizen us live a couple of weeks ago answering community questions all about 3.17 so definitely check that out as well um, as it will whet your appetite for the update ahead again check out my video on that you like community events you like pvp or just watching people fight each other well this past weekend saw the group stage battles of atmo esports fight or flight PvP tournament, and the competition was absolutely heated apparently. This is a community-based fan event and is extremely well done. You should check out the trailer, which is linked below, for the tournament and prepare for the explosive top 8 finale coming on April 9th. The fact that Star Citizen's community can support events like this is absolutely fantastic even at this stage of the game's development, and there will be many more community events like this, lots of which will be run by Atmo Esports be they racing, be they FPS, be they um, ship combat. So if you do want to get involved, don't feel like you've missed out. There'll be lots of more opportunities in the future. Now, let's see what's going on this week. Tuesday, the narrative team brings us the monthly Galactopedia update. So I'm going to start paying more attention to these Galactopedia updates because they might sort of indicate where some of the focuses to for development are and what the plans are for certain missions and bits and bobs in game but they also just add more lore and intrigue and that sort of stuff as well it gives you a bit more of a knowledge base about the game and about the the game's background for a bit more immersion uh, we also have a full starter guide for ship to ship refueling to prepare you for when alpha 3.17 hits ptu that's a cloud imperium official one not one of my ones i'll also probably have one we'll see what they cover and if there's something else that i can add to the conversation or summarize uh, Wednesdays bring the next roadmap update paired alongside a roadmap roundup with all the details. Um, so, could we see the Scorpius slip from 3.17.0's initial build? Quite possibly. I think that ship could be pushed to a point patch. Um, could we see more features added to 3.18? Um, hopefully. I still think the roadmap updates are incredibly important, and we could see a lot of features hit the progress tracker as well. It's nice to know what Cloud Imperium are working on. Thursday has a series finale of Inside Star Citizen that will cover what we can expect is going to be in 3.17 in our patch report, plus a MISC-TERY segment. It is spelt M-I-S-C, so MISC, and then hyphen T-E-R-E, MISC-TERY se segment. So that's a pun. Um, could this be the new mobile refining ship they're wanting to talk about, or is it just a focus on the Starfarer and refueling? Um, could be either of those. More likely to be the Starfarer, but, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so, what does it mean that it's going to be the season finale? Well, that means that Inside Star Citizen will then be on a three-week holiday before coming back with more um, 3.18 and Q2, Q3 orientated content. But it's also a good sign that 3.17 is gearing up for release. I don't like um, the sort of time off from Inside Star Citizen. Uh, I don't like them going on holiday. I would like to see other things fill that void, even if it's not an Inside Star Citizen. I, I would like to see weekly content. But that is uh, one of my own personal gripes. Um, not everyone shares that. I want more, not less, all the time. I'm greedy. <laughs> 
Again, on Thursday, we also have another edition of Patch Watch, which highlights uh, additional updates coming in 3.17, which is awesome to hear because 3.17 is actually looking quite feature full and content packed now. And another Patch Watch should actually highlight even more features that we may not know about that are coming in 3.17. So um, I'm expecting a load more cooler bits and bobs. Friday, Star Citizen Live is on the Star Citizen Twitch channel at 6 p.m. UTC. This is a game dev special with two-time winner of Jared's third favorite guest award, character art director Jeremiah Lee. Uh, it should be a fun and silly episode. Jay Lee is one of my favorite people at Cloud Imperium and is a very talented artist. He's a good laugh. I um, don't actually know what they're going to be working on um, when it comes to um, sort of what they're going to be building or looking at or drawing. Um, during that episode, but uh, it's probably worth tuning in. I will summarize it uh, after we, we've watched it on my weekend news um, But there are other bits as well coming on Friday the newsletter um, some subscriber um, Vault updates um, so yeah lots of lots of little bits on Friday too And I would hopefully expect 3.17 wave 1 to be in our hands at that time as well I do want to highlight again how excited I am for salvage in 3.18 and actually seeing some of the hull stripping tests um, and work from last week has me hyped and um, I didn't make m too much of a song and dance about it because I was away uh, on the weekend and I had to sort of uh, roughly put a video together and I didn't really have time to talk about it in a bit more detail but it looks really cool uh, we'll be covering it in a load more uh, videos in the near future as well hopefully Cloud Imperium will show us a bit more about salvage and what we've got planned for hull stripping in 3.18 soon and uh, then we can talk about that uh, more but um beyond that and the cargo factor for 3.18 i'm hoping that we see more tangible updates and missions for that q2 patch thank you very much for all the birthday wishes uh, for me and sin we have a birthday literally a day apart uh, at the end of march so bam it's it's nice and easy to go let's have some time off and as annoying as it is for a lot of people, I'm kind of glad that First Wave PTU didn't hit the um, sort of servers on the weekend because I wouldn't have been able to cover it properly. But we're, we're ready. We're going to cover it. We're going to cover it so good. It's going to be great. Um, so really looking forward to First Wave PTU and then we can start doing tours and looking at those individual gameplay loops. But yeah, are you looking forward to Alpha 3.17? Are you expecting 3.17 Wave 1 by the end of this week? What additional features do you think we might see in that patch watch? Are you excited for Salvage? Do you think 3.17 is a much more meaty patch now, or is it still a bit too light on tangible gameplay content for you? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I am French and sophisticated. I am also French and also sophisticated. Let us go on a date. Neither of these people are French or sophisticated. It was me doing a funny voice, as well as showing the horrors of dating online and what happens if you accidentally catfish yourself with two of your own accounts. But French people don't talk like that even. No one does. NordVPN can make you appear to be in France, but it doesn't make you French, as I've now found out. It can be used to improve security or give you more accessibility to the internet. I can watch all my favourite shows. Get yourself NordVPN today in the links below and maybe be a better version of yourself. Now that's shilling for you. Every month we have a Star Citizen ship giveaway, and March is no different. We have a Crusader Industries Mercury Star Runner. This multi-crew, multi-role, cargo and data running ship is my favourite ship in the game. It has loads of little smuggling holes, it's got a good amount of armament, it can do a little bit of everything in the game at the moment. To be in for a chance of winning it, just comment on any of my videos made during March. More details in the description below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and potentially even clicking that join button under my videos to help further support the channel. Share the videos around with your friends and family. You'll occasionally get exclusive videos, posts, and polls that help influence the channel along with emotes and badges to show your support. It really does help. There's also a Patreon and direct donations tool for those inclined. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great March 2022.